Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A for Garland Johnson. He's having some issues here with a file where he can't get some bodies to combine. So I have it loaded up in Fusion and we're going to go through it and see if we can help him out. All right, so I have the file open up here and you can see that he's working on a, a type of camera housing, I think, for the Blink camera. And and I think that the issue he's having is with this body. So he said that he's, they, they aren't attaching and, and this seems like the most likely part that he's having issues with. So it's a sweep feature. And what he's done is he's created a profile here and kind of swept it around the outside. And you could make this feature in a lot of different ways, but this is definitely one way to do that. So if we go into the feature and click Edit Profile Sketch, you can see here that this is not fully constrained. And this this is something that I used to do a lot and, and didn't really pay attention to much until kind of later on in, in my fusion design, I guess, uh, career. <laughs> and what happened here is if you zoom in close enough, you can see that there's a gap between the profile sketch and the body that he's trying to attach that to. So that's the issue. And one thing to try to kind of prevent this from happening is anytime you extrude off of a profile, you want to try to make it black. And what I mean by that is when it, when it turns black, it's fully constrained. So that means it can't be moved around. So for instance, here you can see that this can be moved around kind of however you want it to be and, and it is good in some ways because you can kind of modify what it looks like and play around with it but as far as making sure that things don't get out of dimension and, and kind of out of order it's best if you can come back at some point and, and make it fully constrained if possible now these splines here make that harder to do and i would have probably chosen to do probably a fillet in this case i would i would make it just a straight part or i would have tried to make it with the other shell command but i'm just gonna try and fix this since this is how he chose to do it so i'm gonna project a line here and the what, reason i'm doing that is that'll give me a surface to tie this down to so the way you do that is click create and then you go down to project and then project or, or you can just use p on the keyboard all right it's a shortcut then i'm just going to project this top surface and you can see here that this line is created so what it's doing is it's basically just taking this whole profile that i just selected and it's projecting Projecting just a line into this surface plane that we're drawing in. So we're going to click OK, and then you should be able to see that line kind of come into view, and it's this line here. So now, if we look at it kind of on plane, you can see that we have a line to tie everything to. So I'm just going to say collinear, select this, and then select that. And so now you can see that that line is now black. And so now, if we it did the sweep command, it, it should attach to the body. And then a couple other things I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that these edges are coincident as well. And then he used a spline here, which these are kind of historically hard to fully constrain, but I'm going to at least make this horizontal vertical. And what that's doing is making that spline kind of guide the line or profile basically in line with this wall down below it. And then you can see that it kind of messed up these other parts so i think what i actually want to do is just is make this the way i would do it so i'm just going to click escape and then delete this profile and this profile and i'm going to leave the other stuff kind of how they are now i'm going to click r for rectangle again you can just click that but i try to use the shortcut keys and i'm just going to come up here to the height that he had it at and then next thing i'm going to do is he he didn't have it all the way to the edge but i'm going to assume he probably intended to do that but if, if not you can come in and, and change it and so now we have that profile and then the next thing i'm going to do is just coincident this part here with that and then this with that and then here we just have to dimension out the height so just going to go 2.5 because that seems like it's pretty close to what he had and then this width again is kind of whatever dimension is needed and i'll just make it two because it's pretty close to that and then i'm going to coincident this and this and so now we have a fully constrained profile and so i click finish sketch and then we're going to have to modify uh, the sweep here and so we just want to select both of those things and so now you can see that if i move this out of the way we want to do join and so now this is joining with that so it's one body like like we wanted it to be so now the next thing to do is to add the fillet so i'm just going to add one that's like two and then i'm going to add another one that's going to be smaller than that let's see 
if I can select that down here. And one thing to notice if you're at this, if you're having issues selecting something is you can click and hold. Uh, this is clicking and holding the left uh, mouse button and then it'll let you select from different things. And sometimes it's easier to find that uh, line here. So we basically just want to use that line. And then I think that's going to be like one or so. Or actually it's going to be less than that. So let's see, 0.5. So that looks pretty close to what he had. And so there is a way to calculate this. So I'm going to go in and click OK. So the wall thickness is three. And this is a little hard to do since it is kind of smaller. But essentially, we want to add whatever amount here to three. So if we made it a one millimeter radius here, to make this concentric, we'd have to say one plus three is four millimeter radius here. So I'm going to change this one to something like 0.5 plus 3 would be 3.5 which this might not work because of the height of the wall so let's let's just see and so that starts eating into the the side here so that's not really the effect we're going for so what i'm going to do here instead is just to modify the sketch here and make it just a, a little bit taller so we're going to go like three and then click finish sketch and so i think i'm going to make this three millimeters which should work out good and then i'm going to make this 0.5 and so now if we look at it so this is three millimeters and this is 0.5 and so the one thing you'll notice here is now this wall is three millimeters and this one is two millimeters and that just to me doesn't look quite right and there might be been a reason uh, that he made it that dimension maybe it has to fit into something or something like that so i'm actually going to go back and make those the same though because it, it just looks better to me when when they are the same so the way we would do that is you could just make this a straight line and add the fillets but i'm now i'm going to make this four and then here we're going to dimension the width of this out to three And so now we have this being three millimeters and then this width here is three millimeters. So that should make the curve look a little bit better. So now you can see how everything is kind of concentric. And so now if we did another sketch here, you could see, it tries to kind of adjust, but I'm going to project and both of these circles should be essentially concentric. So we, we have that. And now if we keep drawing it out, it's a little bit off. So we need to modify that. And the way that we'll do that is go back here, edit feature. And so what we have to do is add three millimeters. So now this needs to be 3.5. All right. And so now you can see, again, if we draw that uh, circle here, so we can just draw a circle at the kind of origin. That's our one millimeter. And if we keep drawing it out, that's seven millimeters. So that now these, this wall here, uh, from here to here is three. And then if we draw it from here, it'll also be three. So you can see that the wall is a concentric all the way around. So I, I like that effect. I think it makes things look a lot better and I try to do it when I can. So that is how you fix uh, this issue here. And it's a, it's a common issue. So hopefully even if you have a different design, you can uh, kind of learn from it. And the sweep is a really useful command, but you could have also done a similar thing uh, just by having kind of an overhang. Basically, if the overhang was right here, you could just draw a line and extrude this down and you wouldn't really have had to do the sweep. But the sweep's also a good option because now you can adjust, you know, how much of a lip you have really easily. So, for instance, if we go back and you, you find that you need a little bit bigger of a lip, you can do edit profile sketch and then make this into like, you know, five millimeters. And so now you have just a bigger lip there than what we had the first time. So that is a pro to, to this type of design, doing it that way. So, all right, so that's about it for this one. If you're interested in joining my community, the link is down below. And I do file reviews like this for free just to try to help people out. So if you're interested, go ahead and join, and I'll see you in the community. Thanks for watching.